dear students now we are going to see claisen condensation this is otherwise called as claisen ester condensation already we have seen about claisen smith reaction that is otherwise called as claisen reaction so we have completed claisen reaction already any anyway we can revise that now so what is claisen reaction aromatic aldehydes that is not having any alpha hydrogen atom that combines with aliphatic aldehydes or ketones or esters having active hydrogen atom that is having alpha hydrogen atom undergoes condensation in the presence of 10% alkali we are getting the product as alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compounds so this is claisen reaction or claisen smith reaction so now we are going to see claisen condensation that is the reaction this one is condensation what is the other name for that this is called as claisen ester condensation now we'll see the definition for this condensation so here we have taken the starting material as ester that ester combines with one more ester or a ketone or a nitrile but what is the main condition that should have two alpha hydrogen atoms and that undergoes condensation in the presence of strong base so what is the strong base taken here that is the sodium ethoxide or sodamide or triphenyl methyl sodium and forming a product called beta keto ester or beta diketone or a beta keto nitrile plus one by product that is called as alcohol so what is claisen condensation that is otherwise called as claisen ester condensation that is ester combines with ester or ketone or nitrile having two alpha hydrogen atoms undergoes condensation in the presence of a strong base like sodium ethoxide or sodamide or triphenyl methyl sodium and forming a product called beta keto ester or beta diketone or a beta keto nitrile plus one by product that is alcohol so if ester is combining with ester we can get the product beta keto ester ester plus ketone we are getting beta diketone ester plus nitrile we are getting a beta keto nitrile plus alcohol so this is claisen Re, uh, condensation otherwise claisen ester condensation now we are going to see the reaction for this uh, claisen condensation already we have seen ester plus ester what we are getting that is a beta keto ester so that's why we have taken the ester first so what is the name of the ester that is ethyl acetate that combines with another molecule of uh, ester that is another molecule of ethyl acetate so that should have two al minimum two alpha hydrogen atoms but this is having three so minimum is two so ester plus ester what we have to get that is beta keto ester so that undergoes the condensation on condensation what happens so here we have the ethoxide group no that with this hydrogen so that is removed as ethanol that's why the left group is added with this carbonyl carbon and we are getting this product we have known the functional group present here is ester so according to the ester this is the alpha carbon and this is the beta carbon so that's why it is called as a beta keto ester so what is the product we are getting beta keto ester what is the name of this beta keto ester that is called as ethyl aceto acetate so that is called as ethyl aceto acetate so that is the first reaction now we are going to see the second one so what is the second one ester plus ketone we are getting beta diketone so here we have taken the ester as same ethyl acetate that combines with one ketone called acetone so by this addition what happens same as that of the earlier one this uh, ethoxide group and this hydrogen removed as ethanol that's why the left group is added with this carbonyl carbon and we are getting the product so according to that this is the functional group present here according to that this is alpha beta beta no so that is the ketone group is present in beta position that's why it is called as beta diketone because here we have two ketones that's why it is called as a beta diketone what is the name of the beta diketone present here this is acetyl group and this is acetone that's why it is called as acetyl acetone now we are going to see the mechanism for the first reaction that is ester plus ester we are getting the product as beta keto ester we'll see the mechanism for the first reaction so under that uh, five steps are there so we'll see step 1 step 1 is formation of an enolate ion so first we have taken one um, ester so that is ethyl acetate we have taken so that combines with one ethoxide ion from where we got that ethoxide ion that is from the strong base that is sodium ethoxide we are getting ethoxide ion 
So by the addition of uh, this, what happens here? We have the proton. No? So that proton, that is the alpha carbon. Alpha carbon is having alpha hydrogen. So the uh, alpha hydrogen is going to add with this ethoxide ion. By this addition, so this ethanol would be removed and we are getting the product as enolate ion. So ethanol is removed. So we are getting enolate ion 1. We can write one more form for enolate ion that is here we have the double bond now. So bond is coming here that is why the negative charge is moving to this oxygen and we can get uh, this. So we can write uh, the enolate ion 1 like this or like that. So that is called enolate ion or a carbanion or a nucleophile. So this step is same as uh, same as that of uh, that aldol condensation no? so that is why we can write step 1 as the formation of an enolate ion or we can write a removal of alpha hydrogen atom. So what is step 1? We can write it as formation of an enolate ion or it may be removal of alpha hydrogen atom. Now second step is formation of an unstable alkoxide ion. So now we have taken that uh, enolate ion. That enolate ion combines with uh, another molecule of ester that is another molecule of ethyl acetate. So enolate ion 1 combines with another molecule of uh, ethyl acetate. So that undergoes a nucleophilic attack. On nucleophilic attack what happens? So this would already we said enolate ion is a nucleophile. So here we have the carbonyl carbon of ester no? So that one is acting as an electrophile. That is why the nucleophile is going to add with the electrophile. So it attracts the negative charge. It would be attracted by this. So already here pi bond is present between the carbon and the oxygen. So because of that addition, the pi bond between these two know that would be broken and electrons are transferred from this carbon to that oxygen. That is why the whole group is added here. So the bond would be broken and this oxygen is getting a negative charge and we are getting an alkoxide ion and that is an unstable one. So what, uh, what we are getting in step 2 that is an unstable alkoxide ion. Now we will see the third step that is the removal of the leaving group. So what is the leaving group here that is the ethoxide ion. Now we have taken that alkoxide ion from the alkoxide ion this uh, ethoxide ion no so that would be removed. So that is why because of that removal what happens and also to satisfy the valency of that carbon what happens the negative charge no that becomes bond and we are getting the product like this. So this is the um, functional group that is the ester according to that this is alpha and this is a beta. So that is why it is called as beta keto ester but we are getting a very little amount of the product. That is why we are moving uh, going for the step 4 that is what is step 4 ionization of the beta keto ester. So for this ionization we have taken the uh, beta keto ester that beta keto ester combines with ethoxide ion. So by this addition what happens from the beta keto ester one proton is removed and that would be added with this ethoxide ion and removed as ethanol. That is why here we got the conjugate base of the ester. What is the product you are getting conjugate base of the ester that is otherwise called as enolate ion 2. So what is that? Because of the removal of one proton this carbon is getting negative charge. Two more forms are there for this enolate ion. So how can we write that forms? So here we have the double bond. No bond is coming here. That is why the negative charge is moving to that oxygen. So that would be the second form. And what would be the third form? Here we have the double bond. No that bond is uh, coming here. That is why this negative charge is moving to that oxygen. And we are getting the third form. So here we are getting three structures. We can write three structures for the conjugate base of the ester. That is the enolate ion 2. Now moving to the last step that is acidification. Now we have taken that uh, conjugate base of the ester or enolate ion 2 that combines with the HCl. So by the addition of HCl from that one proton is added with this carbon that is carbon that is having negative charge no that would be added with the carbon and that would be converted to beta keto ester. So that is the final product we are getting. So now we are going to see the salient features for this reaction. So esters, um, esters are not having two alpha hydrogen atoms. No, they are not going to undergo this reaction in the presence of this sodium ethoxide. If it is having only one alpha hydrogen atom, it will not undergo that reaction and we are not getting the condensation product. So what is must here? So 
we should have two alpha hydrogen atoms to undergo this reaction so that is the main salient feature for this reaction now we'll see an important point so here what is the starting material we are using that is uh, ester so ester is the starting material we are using so what is the ester we have chosen here that is ethyl acetate so how can we write that uh, ch3 coo c2h5 that is ethyl acetate and what is the catalyst we are using that is uh, sodium alkoxide what is the sodium alkoxide chosen here that is sodium ethoxide and that can be written as nao c2h5 or c2h5 o na so here uh, here we have that OC2H5, here also we have OC2H5 now, so both should be same. Why that should be same? Because the catalyst alkoxide must match the ester alkoxide in order to get a better product. So that's all about uh, Claisen condensation. Thank you.